welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. This is another episode from our Force Science series where today we take a look at most of the M12 battery line and see which of the various sizes and capacities Milwaukee sells really delivers the beans for your money. We'll be doing that with this M12 compact impact wrench as well as a newcomer to the channel, the M12 right angle impact. These two are the first two impacts on our Red Tool Bull Expectations t-shirt, which you guys seem to really like. That right angle is a very low profile solution for getting at those hard to reach bolts in the cordless flavor. Stick around for our next episode this Friday where this tool goes head to head versus main and only real modern cordless competition in the Cobalt. Despite that tool being 24 volt and obviously taking a larger battery than this one, they are for the most part on an island alone together in a cordless right angle space in this world. So they'll be duking it out head to head just like they are on the shelves in the store trying to get your sale. So today we're going to see which M12 battery will bring the biggest punch to keep up with that larger 24 volt pack. That's going to include this M12 CP 1.5, the CP 2.0, the XC 4.0, and the XC 6.0. Save for the 1.5 and 6.0 batteries we picked up, all the tools and remaining batteries on the day were provided to us by a viewer. All-Star fan Jordan Jennings provided these tools to us to test and send back, so big ups to Jordan. Within categories like 12 volt tools and this size, we've often theorized that peak amp draw and voltage drop from battery packs may not be the bottleneck they would be on larger, higher voltage tools. But if you don't have a torque dyno like us, you're definitely getting taxed for those extra sizes, assuming you're not simply after longer runtime and you are expecting more power. At Home Depot, this size range varies in price from $50 to $65 to $90 and $120 bucks for a small 12 volt battery. We bought the Craftsman Mid Torque from Lowe's with battery and charger for less than that. But luckily, they can be found at more reasonable prices elsewhere for up to half of what Home Depot is charging, so we'll leave links below for that. With plenty of flavors to sample today, let's dive into that testing. Our first tool going through the M12 battery evolution lineup will be the M12 Compact Impact. Here's its best case scenario run with a CP 1.5 battery. Median run out of three on screen as usual. One hundred and eighty four, not a whole lot. Then again, this compact doesn't come with a one point five. So let's see the CP two point oh, which their twenty five fifty five dash twenty two kit does include. One hundred and ninety three now, so a bump up from the one point five, but likely not enough for you to make really heads or tails of that at home. That twenty five fifty five dash twenty two kit also comes with an XC four point oh, so let's see what that can do. Two thirty three. As a reminder, the larger M eighteen version of this tool makes two forty nine with a eighteen volt XC five point oh. If you own the kit, relegate that CP two point oh battery for your soldering iron. This tool likes its six L packs. Here's how the XC six point oh did. Two hundred and thirty for whatever reason finishing three foot pounds down or about a wash after giving up its lead to the 4.0. Of course on this channel we like to point out the number on the side of the battery is capacity, not necessarily power or peak discharge potential, but higher capacity tools also should see less voltage drop over a long run as well. In this case these two batteries on this tool are more or less sort of even. Unless you really need longer runtime, get that XC 4.0 for as low as 50 bucks in the link below, as it provides roughly the same power. 
Now for the all new to the channel 2565-20, we won't be getting too deep into the torque claims, specs, and benefits of a tool like this until Friday's episode versus Cobalt. Let's jump right into the beans. Here's the CP1.5. Well, that's certainly an odd power curve. It wiggled itself up to nine seconds, then flatlined. Let's check out the CP 2.0. Even worse now for some reason, flatlining even earlier just would not go past 131 for anything. With these batteries, if the tool won't do it in a handful of seconds, it won't ever do it. Let's see if things get any better looking with these sort of right angle batteries on this right angle tool. One hundred and fifty nine this time, okay, we're headed in the right direction, and it's at least still doing something towards the end there. Let's see if the XC six point oh fares any better. One eighty two. For some reason this M twelve right angle like the six point oh on every one of its power runs on the day. Unlike the twenty five fifty five model, this twenty five sixty five right angle really preferred our six point oh and not only put almost forty percent on the two point oh it comes with in a kit, but fifteen percent on an XC four point oh. If you're using a CP two point oh on this tool like Milwaukee would intend you to, you're really leaving a lot on the table. Yes, it adds some right angle hook action on the end to put a 6.0 on there, but even compared to the M12 compact, that's not really a big deal because the length of this tool means your battery is likely far away from any other interference. As for the compact impact, that's really one of our favorite tools in cordless right now. We feel with an XC 4.0 battery, it does everything an M18 compact can do and better, being lighter, less expensive, and a more compact footprint, which is sort of the purpose of the tool. There's no real significant power loss going from a M18 down to an M12, as we're showing here. And while some people don't like the bulky handle grip of the M12 tools, we sort of like it, and you really can't go wrong with this tool. As for the right angle impact, we'll have to find out Friday how that stacks up in the cordless category. Subscribe not to miss out on that, and thanks for watching.